Hi everybody, welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and I've just prestiged <laughs> on the opening weekend. I've never done that on a Call of Duty game ever before. I say the opening weekend, it's the Monday afterwards, isn't it? So I thought I would share my absolute favourite loadout that I use that is uh, is really, really good. Um, here we go, this is the one. So... Um, the core of this loadout is the MP5, but then we use the Lawbreaker wildcards. Now, the Lawbreaker wildcard is really cool. When I did my perks guide, I thought it just related to having a secondary, uh, a primary as your secondary, but it doesn't just do that. With Lawbreaker, you can also choose any of the perks you want, so you can have two from the perk one list, one from the perk two list, you know, none from the perk three list. You can still only have three perks altogether, but it gives you the ability to do that. Um, but the way I use it mainly is as a uh, as the ability to run the MP5 with the sniper rifle. Now I run the Pellington, but the uh, the Tundra is is virtually the same once you put the attachments on it. I've found um, the Pellington is a little bit faster to aim down sights. I found um, whereas the Tundra gives you slightly more damage in the fact that you can get one shot kills if you hit people in the shoulders as well. So, and not so tied to the Pellington. But the MP5, what I do is I run it with the uh, Quick Dot LED. Um, I put the uh, 9.5 inch Ranger barrel on. This gives it a 100% increase in bullet velocity. Now, bullet velocity is the key thing in Black Ops Cold War. You, especially with the submachine guns, the and some of the assault rifles as well is the base bullet velocity is very low um, so there's quite a delay between you, you, you pulling the trigger and the bullets hitting the targets um, so anything that makes the bullets go fast it's good um, and then I put the steady aim laser for slightly better hit fire accuracy I might experiment with the SWAT laser because that gives you 36% better hip fire accuracy and a lot of the time you're using the MP5 up close the foregrip to give you some horizontal recoil control and the 40 round speed mag um, so I've got enough bullets to kill a couple of en enemies in a row and I can change um, that magazine really quick as well um, the Pellington I stick with the standard sniper optic because when I'm using a sniper, I use it for fun as well, because I enjoy the way the game looks through the sniper optic. Um, I put the stabiliser on it um, for less weapon spray. I put the um, extended barrel on, because it's got 25% uh, increase in bullet velocity. The steady aim laser to, uh, for better hip fire accuracy. However, I have only hit one <laughs> hip fire no scope kill. I was very proud of it when I got it, but I have done one, so maybe, maybe that helped when I did that. Um, I put the speed tape on for a slightly better aim down sight time, and the tactical stock for better um, walking movement speed. But as you can see, I've only got the Pellington up to level 13, so there's plenty of other attachments that could probably make it a little bit more of a aim down sight uh, beast to make it a bit faster, maybe add a little bit to the range as well. Um, but it does, does make, I, I really enjoy using it. Uh, I go with the stun grenade and the frag, um, and the uh, uh, trophy system as my field upgrade because I mainly play domination and this is a really killer um, class for, for domination and then as far as perks go we go with flak jacket to reduce incoming damage from explosives you know because you're on the point a lot of the time um, we use cold blooded now cold blood is very important I think if you're running primaries uh, as both weapons because you haven't got a rocket launcher to shoot down um, enemy uh, lethal score streaks I'm talking about like the, the dog the the, um, the choppers that fly around and kill you and the um, uh, cruise missiles that come down with cold blooded that the AI score streaks don't see you so things like uh, turrets as well they don't see you so that's very important I think because you can't rely I find you can't rely on your teammates to shoot these things down or get rid of turrets so if you've got cold blooded you don't have to worry about them anyway now gearhead is really important because what gearhead does is it makes you get your field upgrades much quicker and it enables you to have two so I can have two um, 
trophy systems and because I play domination and hardpoint all the time having two trophy systems is, is really really good um, you can take a point you can put a trophy system down or two in case one gets gets blown up and then you can defend that point but importantly what you do as well you see for your score streaks you have the sentry turret and the sentry turrets they don't have much armor you know that they do they, they can be destroyed fairly easily by things like grenades and RPGs and, and rockets but if you put your sentry down and then put a couple of um, trophy systems around it they can last for absolutely ages and get you loads and loads of kills you know, you've just got to find the right spot like near the B flag um, like on garrison on the uh, overhead gantry you put one down there with a um, trophy system protecting it and it will sit there for two or three minutes just blatting enemies as you go along um, cruise missile you can get loads of kills with cruise missile I've well, I say you get loads you can get sort of two three or four because you know when it pops out you can then fire off the two smaller missiles and then hit them with the big one um, it's really good fun to use as well um, and then I go with the um, spy plane just to help my teammates out I would go with the RCXT but I found it's not that people see the RCXTs coming and they, they tend to shoot them so I haven't been that impressed with it it's fun to use but I found the spy plane probably a little bit better um, and so that's score streaks Ooh come out of our loadout screen um, let me just go back into it so there we go that is my favorite killer class um, the mp5 is amazing at close range absolutely amazing pretty good at medium range as well can compete with most of the um, assault rifles and the beauty with having the sniper rifle by using the lawbreaker wildcard is it's just so much fun sniping in black ops cold war is absolutely I've done more sniping in this game than I've done in all the other Call of Duties put together. Honestly, give it a go. Stick with it. What you have to do is you aim down sights and then drag the, the sights across where you think your target is going to be or where you know the target is going to be and then you just pull the trigger when you think you're in the right place. And with aim assist, you see, it just helps. We're not talking quick, quick, quick scoping here. And also you find, as you learn, you know, if you play the map a lot, you know where people um, head glitch and so you can just s strafe around a corner hold your breath by clicking in the left stick slide the scope across and then you'll see somebody's head bang pull the trigger and you get those beautiful headshots I think one of the cool things about Cold War is the the medals as well because you know you hit a long shot headshot on a trophy on a um, on a flag and you get ching 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 all these um all these medals appear so what I'll do is I will play some gameplay after this as well so that you can watch that watch this kind of uh, in action um, because you know I think it's absolutely fantastic it's very effective I mean you could argue that the M16 with a something like a sniper rifle on would be more effective than a sniper rifle but this is fun as well a really really loads and loads of fun anyway that's enough for me what do you think put your questions in the comments down below if you like the video hit like if you want to see more subscribe and I will see you again soon. Domination. Seize the objectives. Securing C. Stun out. Hostile mail eliminated. He's gone. Bravo secure. We are taking control. Losing me. Take
Shooting B. Throw it up and running. Working the objective. Objective. Be secure. Granat. We lost Bravo. Securing A. A secure. Hostile sentry turret active. Throwing granat. A lockdown. 
Throwing flags. Soviet dominance assured. 